Hello and welcome to Isaac Trivia Season 2, Episode... Season 3, sorry. Already first mistake. At first episode. <laughs> my name is Bumbo the Freak, I'm the host of the show, and at my side I have my lovely co-host, Exolator. Hello and welcome to the show. Yeah, it's good to be good to be back after uh, yeah after the finale starting a new season. So yeah, we've it, had a number of changes from season two. So we hope that everyone will be like you know excited to see what new things Isaac Trivia has in store. Let's start the show, I think. Unless there are any questions, I don't think you have any questions, right? Nah. Also, don't forget that you have the Poker Chip Joker. You can use it at any time to double the points for the questions you get. You have to use it before you give me the answer. And if you get it wrong with the poker chip active, you will lose the points instead. But you cannot below, go below zero, so that is at least the uh, saving grace a little bit. And, well, let's just jump right into it and have a look at the first question of Isaac Trivia Season 3, Episode 1. The first question of this evening is, how high is the percent chance for the bookworm effect to activate? Excellent. What do you think about this question? Do you think this this is a good starting question, or is it maybe a little bit too hard? Hmm. I don't know. If people want to go on Isaac enough. trivia, then they have some. Yeah, if people want to go on Isaac trivia, then they know at least a little bit about Isaac. To where I feel like this question, yeah, you know, the question that most people know. But yeah, but let's see. Let's see what our contestants how they answer. The answers are in. Uh, let's go through them one by one. Chat said. 25%, Jen said, 25%, Emiguel went with 30%, and Ooh. Exciter, would you like to uh, clear us up, what is the correct percentage? Yeah, so the thing with the uh, bookworm is that it's essentially yeah, a weaker version of in 2020 minus the uh, damage down. The correct answer was 25%, so, <laughs> yeah, Miguel, sorry. It's not oh, 30%, it's just a I didn't one. know it. I got pretty close, dude. Yeah, it was actually a good guess. So let's jump right into the second question. What is the maximum amount of blue flies the item jar flies can hold? <laughs> yeah, that is, that is what I was talking about. Exactly. Do I have to send again? For the sake of consistency, you probably should. Yeah, I did. We may or may not have had a little discussion before the show. <laughs> Oops! Yeah, Bamba, what do you think of the item Jar of Flies? Do you think it's a decent item? Uh, it is a top tier oh, item because it is part of the Beelzebub transformation, of course. Oh, that's true. <laughs> and oh, a Beelzebub the... fan? Uh, yes, I think I personally think it's the strongest transformation in the game. Some people may disagree, but they are wrong, definitely. <laughs> Especially when you go through the Ascend sequence, where you get like those tainted moon flies. Those are great. Yeah, yeah, that is that, that is that is totally true. The answers are in. Let's start with Miguel this time. Miguel said 24 flies. Oh, on the stream it still has the. Uh... No, no, I changed a little bit around. I, I but it should be fine now. Uh, Chat said 20 as well, and then went also for 20. And we discussed this before, but the correct answer for this one is 20 flies. So we will see some extra points for Chad and then Jen this time as well. But let's have a look at the final question and see if you can redeem yourself. Final question for the normal category is... Which book grants you one of the following effects when used? Is it uh, at the treasure map, the blue map or the compass? Yeah, those are the effects that it can use, but what book has the ability to grant you one of those? Actually, you know what, Bambo? I think Miguel may be the strongest competitor here, intentionally do losing the first couple points, so he can choose the uh, choose the net the trajectory of the show in the next uh, in the next part of it. New to Isaac trivia. It might so, be true. That is actually a valid strategy. Yeah, <laughs> let's see what happens. Well, I can tell you that Miguel was quite consistent with his strategy so far because he said Book of Knowledge, which is kind of close to the correct answer, which was given by Chad and Dren. It is the Book of Secrets. That is the correct answer for this one. But that means that Miguel gets the I... choice. Yes, yeah, sorry. No. I read it wrong. I meant Book of Secrets. Well, let's ask the other contestant. Should we give Miguel a point for that one? He was pretty close. Yeah, honestly. Uh, to be, well, to be fair, the splash text for Book of Secrets is Tome of Knowledge, so... This is true. So. That is true, yeah. Close. So Miguel gets a point. I think it's fair. 
Yeah, and I'm realizing, as well. that, I'm realizing that it might be translated as Book of Knowledge in... Uh, uh, if yeah, I was else, just I thinking about this. Are you playing in? Are you all playing in English? Yeah, I do. Oh yeah. Okay, I see. So no, the score is three, three, one, and because Mikola is currently in last place, which can still change, you get the choice between our two Alpath and Exciter. Would you m like to introduce them to our contestants? What we have today in store? Of course. So this new feature to, into season three. At certain points, the last place competitor will have the option to choose the category for the next set of questions. So, yeah, in this, uh, yeah, in this stage of Isaac trivia in episode one, yeah, Miguel, you can either choose from guess the item or synergy showdown. Okay, let's go with guess the item. All right, guess the item. So. Guess the item it is. Let's jump into this new section of Isaac trivia season three. Here we go. What is the name of this item? Okay, everybody can see just, it now. I just think of bamboo just manually moving the Namokris down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, yeah the... our tradition to move the knife or the Damocles. Oh, uh, right. We got different it's answers well, for it. this one again as well. Oh. And let's start with Miguel. Miguel said Curse of the Tower. Chad said Curse of the Tower. And Jen said Pawn Card. Let's reveal oh. the item. Oh. And oh. you would see it is Curse of the Tower. And that yeah, means this torn card. Torn card looks like pretty similar. Mm. Yeah, it is... does look similar. I also thought it was torn card. Not gonna lie. But well, torn that card means trinket, not an item. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, strategy like, no. is actually working out because he was able to choose the outpath <laughs> and now gets two additional points. So let's have a look at the new score really quick. Yeah, but chat also has two points. So that's, yeah, <laughs> but it will probably be a tight race. Don't yeah. forget about your poker chip, but you will probably use it at a later stage to get a big advantage, I guess. All right, let's have a look at the next item, which is this one. <laughs> I was almost uh, going to spoil the name, but you only get the picture. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is definitely type. an interesting one. Like, what does it look like? It looks like a star with a ball on top. Maybe a bowling ball? I think that's the name. Mm. Ah, I'm not sure of the name of the item. I know which item it is. I exactly want to know what it is and what it does. But I'm not sure of the name. Hmm. That's the thing that yeah. matters, isn't it? So... <laughs> sure of that. Yeah, just submit one answer, any answer. You might get it right. And then... Uh... There are almost seven, uh, 700 items, Alex. Uh, finally, I fucking remember. Oopsies. I almost say <laughs> that almost. seven thousands. Yeah, no, there's not that much items. Anyway, okay, Bob, this is... We have all our answers in. We have our answers in, and all of them were the same. It was best friend, and that oh. is indeed oh. correct. So everybody gets points this time. Let's go! Well done to the contestants, everyone getting that. Uh, the, hun the hundred hours in Isaac is not doing me good right now. A <laughs> hundred might put you on the lowest. No, everyone in no, no, I'm. I have eight hundred hours. More ah, than 800. Yeah. yeah. I have two and two point six thousand or something like that. Holy <laughs> shit! Do, do you mean oh, I'm the other god. Dead. You only have like four hundred. Chat, aren't you so going for a fourth dead god? Uh, yeah, I'm halfway through it. <laughs> Damn. Are you gonna? Have you gone for the Infinity? Uh, uh, yeah, I did. I oh, did yeah. Infinity for Sims, but then I deleted one of my Okay, cards. anyway, right. we have the next item on the board. What is this item? I think this is easy to recognize. It's the easiest, easiest one so far. It looks like my friend. That's <laughs> your <I> friend. <laughs> okay. If you get it pretty close, then we will give you points anyway. Like, yeah. spelling mistakes don't count, count mm -hmm. of course. <laughs> yeah, if it's clear you know which item it is and uh, yeah, and know like what the name is, then that's good enough. Okay, and this was a pretty easy one as well. I got three times Mega Blast and that is, of course, wrong. Nah, I'm just joking. It's, it, is, it is correct. It is correct. <laughs> Everybody will get two points. And that means we will move on to the hard questions. Oh my god. So this was the easy stuff. First hard question of this show is... How many charges does the item Friendly Ball have? It's the key piece of one of the challenges, which you can exchange for whatever reason. <laughs> and I always did on accident. But I think the idea is pretty cool. I like Friendly Monsters. 
Uh, what do you think about the decks later? Do you like friendly monsters or charmed monsters? Yeah, friendly well, I feel like in the challenge it's nice, but outside of that, I usually have something better, so I don't bother to pick it up. If I get it like on the first couple of floors, I might keep it, but only until I get something better. Yeah, I mean, and there's also Friend Finder, which is just like a friendly ball on steroids because it can give mm -hmm. you some of the strongest uh, monsters in the game from the first floor onward. Besides, you have to aim with the friendly ball and you might accidentally capture a friendly fly instead. <laughs> that could also happen. That's quite unfortunate. Wouldn't That's happen. true, but with, friend, uh, with friendly ball, you can also capture uh, certain enemies like bishops, which have very mm -hmm. interesting synergy if you have them yep. charmed. Gotcha. That's also or true. Yeah, Bishop with the... Or even the cultists. They revive oh, your friends. Yeah, yeah, cultists and... Yep. That's just infinite invincibility. The answers are in. I got mm -hmm. three times. The answer two. And that is correct. And that means everybody will get points again. And we can move on to the next hard question. Which is... Which passive item can turn monsters you touch into poop? I think that this was kind of a rare item. Touch? Oh. With contact damage, yes. No, 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 no. I, I don't know if it, if it has a dot or not. But oh, that's, I that's, know which item. That's totally fine, yeah. Yeah, if, you, if we know which item. Uh, Miguel actually spotted completely correct, but every contestant gave the correct answer for this question. It is equally. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not actually sure. I've always pronounced it Ecoli. I read it in my head equally, so... <laughs> equally, okay. And we're almost done with the hard questions. Looks like the hard questions are actually a lot easier than the normal questions. <laughs> the final hard question is... How much damage does a blue spider do? We are looking for the damage multiplier. Yeah, this I used to be different in older versions of the game. So we are looking for the current value in Repentance. I don't think it helps the contestants much if I tell them that... Yeah, that blue spiders and blue flies, they don't do set damage. They do damage relative to Isaac's own. So if you have, like, Ipecac and Sacred Heart, your flies will do much more than if you had Zoya. That is only partly wrong because the scaling with Ipecac is, like, heavily scaled down. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because uh, I know. Plus 40. What, what are you saying, Axel? Right, because I, I always forget that Ipecac's plus 40 doesn't like to do things in certain things. Mm -hmm. Like, it works with some things, like Tech 2, and then it doesn't work with, uh, yeah. I think that'd be a bit too OP in some cases. I think if the cac deserves it. Everyone hates it and hates on it, but I feel like it, 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 it should get the buff. No. <laughs> I think it's fine as it is, and I think it's still pretty strong right now. Definitely. And we got different answers again. Then went for two times Isaac's tier damage. Chad went with two times Isaac tier damage, and Miguel went for 2.5 times Isaac's damage. We're talking about repentance uh, changes here, right? Yes, yeah. and that means the correct answer to this question: How many, how much damage does a blue spider do? Is two. And that means Chad and Jen will get two additional points. I have no idea why it was 2.5 before and why it was changed. Alright, we are done with the hard questions. Our score at the moment is 15, 13 and 11. And we will move on to everyone's favorite part, the midway quality question. Hello? Let's have a look at today's item, which is the D20. What quality uh. is the item D20? <gasps> oh my god. Right now? Right No, the actual... Quality uh, as of this I'm patch. Hoping, yeah, okay. I'm hoping it didn't uh, bit What not playing with external item description does to a, to a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you either need that or you need to be a no liver that checks like the quality every day, not yeah. looking at uh, Dio and me. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I mean, even though yeah, Dio is no longer the co host of the show, the, his midway quality contribution still, uh, still lives on. So. <laughs> the legend yeah, lives on. Um, uh, probably I'm sure. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> with three question marks. I like that. Nice touch. Uh, the answers are in. And we got three times the same answer, which oh was my God. two. Yes. 
and the D20 is probably one of the best breaking tools in the Binding of Isaac. I personally think it is a really strong item, but not everybody necessarily agrees. In the normal run, it's kind of mediocre to be honest. It is not quality 0, not quality 1. It's also not quality 4. But the question is, is it quality 2 or 3? And the correct answer to the question, what quality is the item D20 is? 2. So everybody will get it's 3 cool. points. Yeah, I just saw we had uh, the Isaac Season 2 trivia from Dead God, like winner, winner of the finale, Sharon, in the chat saying that, yeah, Tainted Cane checking qualities <laughs> is what helps her know what, uh, what quality D20 is. I just didn't know if it was quality one or two. I knew it was in zero, I knew it was in three or four. I just didn't know if it was one or two. But now that we are done with the midway quality question, we can see that Miguel's plan to play from the last place and choose the alpha is brilliantly working. No. So, uh, Exeter, would you mind to uh, explain again the alpha sections we have right now? The paths we have for, you know, for the odd path, we have Old Testament, where these are questions based on it. The, the Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb, the Flash version. And then we have Guess the Enemy, where you'll be shown an enemy and have to guess what its name is. However, one important change is that the enemies will be shown in color this time. Last time in the final of season two, they were shown uh, faded out without any color. And this time they will be shown in color. So that makes it probably a lot easier if you are familiar with enemy names. Oh boy. It what? What, are, what is the first option? Again? Old Testament. Uh, questions about the Flash version of Isaac. Oh, no, the other one. <laughs> oh, uh, that's Guess the Enemy. Guess yeah, the Enemy. Yeah, sure. So you want to lock that in? Yeah. I mean, I have like five hours of Flash. I, I don't think I'm going to be very good. <laughs> Actually, wait a moment. I think there are some issues. One moment, please. Ah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Guessing the enemies in about like five of them are climbing apers, different colors. <laughs> <laughs> she should be sure bamboo is cool. Like, uh, guess the fatty, but then, uh, and then guess the pencil. Like, oh, it's a champion fatty. You're wrong. <laughs> Okay, the stream ended, right. We are back and it looks like there was an angel takeover. What does it mean, Exilator? Uh, I don't know. I'm looking through all of our channels, all of our notes, but it seems like the person in last place gets two extra points for every question they get right, and the person in second place gets one extra point for every question they get right. And what happens oh. to the first place, the Exilator? Uh, yes, they get the same amount of points they normally do. That no seems quite unfair to the first place, but is a pretty good opportunity for the Ooh, last player uh... to catch up. So let's move on to the next section, which is Great. guess the enemy, angel takeover. Let's have a look at the first enemy that we have for today. Name this enemy. It is a green fly. That is what I can tell you. That is what you can see as well. You probably all know what this enemy does, I would assume. I don't know if that actually can we talk about this or is this uh, too much of a, of a hint? I don't think, he, yeah, prior to uh, you showing me the questions, I didn't actually know the name of this enemy. So. Really? But I feel like we all have some idea what it does if we've played enough. Uh, enough I hate this one. <laughs> I think everyone can agree with that. I used to hate them as well on the release of Repentance, but after a while I got familiar with them and how they move and no, I'm, I think they are fine, but they are still annoying, definitely. I have I think 2000 that thing, but they're... hours in Repentance, I still don't know how, how they work. <laughs> Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure about, I think they are using a grid that they move on, but I'm not really sure how the grid is placed because it's not really pla uh, like placed with like the, the rocks and stuff like that, it's really weird. I know it's not army. That's the yellow one. Okay, see? But I still need your answer. What do you think it is called? Let's have a look at what uh, Chad said. Might be wrong on this one. Chad went I, with... I have percent sure, but... 
you aren't sure. But uh, is everyone uh, done with their questions, uh, with their answer? Yeah, Nobody do. wants to change it anymore? No, no. I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Chat said army fly or something like that. We will lock an army fly. <laughs> okay. Jen went also with army fly. And Miguel said that this is not an army fly. But <laughs> maybe a group fly. And the correct yeah. answer to this question is army fly. Ah, uh, tragedy strikes for Miguel. <laughs> Let's I move on. None of you have used your poker chips yet, so very well. Some mm -hmm. something could happen in the final few questions. Oh, that's okay. actually true. Let's have a look at the next question, or next enemy rather, which is this guy. Yeah, Still with closed really eyes. Short as well. I think this is a pretty cool enemy. Uh -huh. Which? Oh, alright. Uh, yeah. Can I use my pocket chip, please? Uh, yeah. sure. Uh -huh. So we have one pocket chip use. Whoops, don't do it like this. <laughs> nope. Somebody else? Or just chat? There's nobody else. <laughs> All right, yeah. one poker chip has I been used. Actually, do you like this enemy? Uh, do you? I don't think anyone likes this enemy. So. Oh, I think they are really Mass nice. Lost. Mass lost. No, I think they're they they are fine. They're really predictable. They just run after you. They, If you know how they move, it, I think it's really predictable how where you shoot, need to shoot. I mean, yeah, but well, not all of us are Isaac pros. Okay, fair enough. But I also kind of like like the the Sheol based enemies, like the Black Goblin, which is not in the show, just to be sure. Um, <laughs> this is the one, the the Goblin in black, that when you kill him, it, like shoots a lot of spiders everywhere. I think that is the coolest enemy in the game. Uh, definitely. Annoying. Imagine if this champion that needs everyone else in the room to be killed. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that would be... <laughs> really that. But I still think this is a... I, think, I just think this is a really cool one. Uh, I'm not really sure what you tried to go for, but... Uh, in school, what, 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 was your, what was your guess? What did you try like, to... Because he turns invisible, and then the other word for ghost, which is not ghost, but I don't know what it is. Ghoul. Because I don't... Ghoul. But... Yeah, I think that's what you said. But well, I can tell you that this is not correct. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> what did the other contestants guess from? Uh, this is actually quite interesting because we have null from chat and we have nulls with an S from <laughs> Jen. And the Why actual not? name of this enemy is nulls with an S. I think, yeah, I think that's a little unfair, to be honest. <laughs> so we should give really points to both of them. Yeah. <laughs> so we will go ahead and give Chet how many points? Six. Yeah, six which points will, to the poker chip. Which will put you to 27. And Jen gets three plus one, because in second place, that makes four for 24. Miguel, a little bit far off. But still doing, managing, swimming still with the head above the water. <laughs> and still, with, but which head? The one, the cane head or the one on top? <laughs> oh, that's Grab actually quite top. a good question. Right. Yeah. Okay, the nulls are gone. Let's have a look at the final enemy for the show. Please name this enemy. I think the base version of this enemy is really familiar. Most people should probably know what this one is called. Uh, the angels in. Hey, they're not the worst. Jensen. They're not the best. Psychic yeah. Maw. Miguel went with Psychic Corp. And Chet went with Psychic Maw. So we have two times Psychic Maw and one times Psychic Corp. And the correct answer to this enemy is... Psychic Maw. Yeah. Yes, that is correct, and that also means that we are losing the Angel Takeover. Get away these pesky birds. I know everybody <laughs> gets only as many points as they deserve, actually. How dare we have, uh, have charity on the show? <laughs> this, is an I this is an ice extreme. We bomb our beggars. We bomb our beggars. That's true. So let's have a look at the first eternal question of Isaac Trivia Season 3. The question is... How do you unlock the black sack pickup? Easy question. 
that is one of the most recent additions to the game in Repentance and requires to you do something fairly specific. Uh, I have zero clue. I was right to be scared of eternal questions. Ooh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh... I can tell you that I already got two answers. Yeah, but of I, course, I'm no pressure. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. I do not remember. Uh, this one. I don't know. I, I genuinely do not know. All right. I don't think it's one spoiler to say that it's a character unlock because. <laughs> no, 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 no. Things no. in repentance are. No, I would, I would have called that fair to give me a point for that one, anyways. But I, I genuinely do have no idea. That's answer was, pain of Judas. And defeat mother. And then we have Jen and Miguel with Tainted Judas and Mega Satan. The correct answer to the question, how do you unlock the Black Sack pickup, is... You need to defeat S, Tainted Judas, Mega Satan. Yeah, that makes sense. No. And yeah, that I means... I had no idea. I genuinely had no idea for this one. <laughs> But this means we have a new first place with Jen in first place with 32 points. I'm gonna use the, the poker chip in the last question and go ahead in first place. Yeah, but you can see that <laughs> That's the, can go we down. can see in the chat trivia champion Sharon is disappointed in chat after completing three dead gods. I'm sorry, Sharon! I'm the top man! At least I got the character right! I mean, even so, as a general rule, if you unlock something for the overworld with a tainted character, like the Crane game or or, or Hell game, that those are unlocked from Mega Satan. Anyway, what's the next eternal question, Bombo? The next eternal question is: What familiar is part of the starting items in challenge number twenty-three, Blue Bomber? And challenges usually start with a specific set of active and passive items. And in this specific challenge, number 23, Blue Bomber, you start with one familiar and we are looking for the name of that one. The correct answer to this question is Brother Bobby. And I got the correct answer from Chet, Miguel, and Jen. Everybody got this question correct. Yeah, right. Two more questions left. Will our contestants use their poker chip on the final eternal question or save it for the dead god question? Let's save the final eternal god. question. The final eternal question is How much damage does a bomb deal to enemies with the passive item Mr. Mega? Oh, let me do that. I guess this one is pretty tough because yeah. most people don't even know how much damage a normal bomb does. I think this was this is knowledge that this was spread around now because they changed it in repentance. But um, also they made bombs in general a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. But this is a really specific number. This is not that easy to know. Okay, okay, that's an interesting reply. Miguel's answer was 185. Chad went with 150. And Jen went with 185 as well. I'm probably wrong on this one. The question was, how much damage does a bomb deal to enemies with the passive item Mr. Mega? The base damage of a bomb currently is 100 and it ignores boss armor. And with Mr. Mega, the damage gets increased to 100, 80, <laughs> I, I actually forgot how much damage uh, Mr. Mega gives. I forgot. I thought it was 1.5. Apparently it's not. It is a tough question. It definitely is a tough question. But now we are done with the eternal questions. Jen is currently leading with 6 points. So Chad has a chance to draw even. Uh, a tiebreaker here. So. If you get it correct. And Jen gets it wrong. And Miguel with a Joker, well, could still technically win if Jen uses the Joker and gets it wrong. But let's have a look at the Dead God question. 
first dead god question of season three. What is it? Oh. The question for this evening, probably final one, is which is the rarest natural hard drop reward you can gain from clearing a room without any additional modifiers? What? After clearing a room, you get a random reward. And these rewards can also contain hearts. There are different hearts, like the red heart, the double heart, heart. golden heart. bone, soul, black heart. Hmm. And one of them is by far the rarest to drop. And we are looking oh, for the oh, name of one. that heart. I think I know this one. First of all, do we want to have anyone using the poker chip? Oh, I will. They only take when we do it. Okay, so Miguel is using the poker chip, so... Yeah, double yes. points, 12 points if he gets it right, but loses 6 if he doesn't. And what about Jen? Um, I'll keep it. Okay, so no poker chip, so... A good choice avoiding the risk, but potentially allowing for a, a tiebreaker. Okay, this is... this is really specific. So. If the sense of being a tiebreaker, Jen, how do you feel about your chances? Probably 50-50. God, this is this is actually the rarest one, huh? We're talking from hearts, keys, bombs, like up to cards, is it? And trinkets. Yeah, out of the hearts, which one is the rarest? Just the hearts. Oh, just the hearts. Yeah, just the hearts. Yeah, I thought it was everything too at first. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, I think I might have an idea. I think I have this one. I think. I'm unsure. Yeah, tension is high. Let's see. Yeah, do we have all of our answers yet, or are we still waiting on people? Yes, we do. Okay. Well, <laughs> I won't delay you any further. What did our contestants answer for this question? Miguel went with Boneheart. Chat went with Golden Heart, and Jen went with Bone Hearts. The final question of Isaac Trivia Season 3 of the Dead God level was Which is the rarest natural heart drop reward you can gain from clearing a room without any additional modifiers? Red Hearts are pretty common. Soul and Black Hearts are fairly common as well. Bone Hearts and Golden Hearts are both pretty rare. But only one of them is the rarest. And in this case, the correct answer is... Bone Hearts. Let's go. What?! Yeah. Yeah. Hearts! <laughs> Oh, Chat, both a gold heart is 0.50%. <laughs> That's not possible. I never s I do not see any golden heart in my runs. <laughs> I do not see any of them. <laughs> you sure see plenty. <laughs> you would have I, I, like, I see like three. I've seen like three or four golden hearts in my entire t lifetime playing this game. Maybe you've just gotten unlucky then, because... Yeah. Oh my god, I've been really unlucky then! Yeah, but we've had a... Uh, yeah, overall we've had... Yeah, you know, all of you have been super strong contestants. Yeah, this has been an amazing <laughs> show. So we congratulate... Congrats, Jen, for... You know, for winning the show. <laughs> Let's getting go. Dead God. Impressive finish from everyone above 30 Jesus points. Jesus Christ. And then, yeah, Miguel bringing it back. Uh, enough to climb to second place, but just barely not enough mm -hmm. yeah, to get first. Uh, Chad was leading for quite a while, but only... Yeah, but I, I knew Eternal Question would screw me up. Yeah. Eternal and Dead God proved to be, you know, be difficult enough for them to where the other two managed to, uh, to power through. Thank you all for being here. I'll leave the closing our closing remarks to Bumbo here. Closing remarks, of course, you forgot about to include that the final sentence of the show before we actually end it goes to the winner, Jen. So please give us your final thought about this show and what you're going to do with the win. 
I feel like this is just beginner's luck, <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, this is the first time I joined this, and yeah, you know, some of these questions are pretty tough. Yeah, despite me like uh, being such a nerd about games like this, <laughs> but yeah, thank I thank 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 you for hosting uh, the whole trivia like this. It really it really relieves like the little itch in my brain. Over, okay. Yeah, over this little uh, this little game that I played for like <laughs> so long. <laughs> thank you very much for that compliment. I hope you all had a great time. But that leaves me with only one more thing left to say. My name is Bumble Jura Freak. This was Isaac Trivia Season 3, Episode 1. We might see any of these contestants back in the final episode of this season at the end of the year. But until then, have a good time. Bye! 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 Bye. Bye.